Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the Schoon Cup. The Schoon Cup is made in the USA and they are FDA cleared and registered. Um, they have a really good website. It's easy to navigate and they have a lot of great information on there. So check them out when you get a chance. I will leave their link in the description below. Originally the Schoon Cup is $39.99 but they are having a sale and I don't know how long that sale runs uh, but on this, uh, for the sale price it is $36.99. So pick that up as soon as you can if you want to try out this cup. They offer the cup in two different sizes, size 1 and size 2, 2 being the larger of the two sizes, and six different colors. Uh, I don't have the color list with me but uh, I think this one is Meditation. I really wanted the Harmony, which is the aqua color. Anyhow, um, they do offer different sets on their website. I'm not sure if the cup does come with a pouch or not, um, but then you can get it with the pouch, and then you can also get it with um, one of their organic uh, reusable pads. So you'll have to check to see what kind of offers they have for those sets. They also offer the pads on their own, panties, and extra little carrying pouches for the cups. I have the size 2 with me today, and that is the larger of the two sizes that they offer. They do have some guidelines on their website if you want to uh, figure out which cup would be right for you. They just have a list of um, things that you can compare to, like if you've given vaginal birth, if uh, your uh, sexually active, blah blah blah, so you'll have to check that out if you're not sure which size you want. So uh, the size 2 is 50, 50, millile sorry, 50 millimeters high, and that's 2 inches, and it holds 30 milliliters of fluid to the top of the rim, and that's 1 ounce. It's the same capacity as the Diva Cup. So starting with the stem, uh, if you had seen any of my other videos with a cup with a stem like this, I call this the antenna style stem, and it reminds me of the old cartoon, the Jetsons, because they always had this antenna on their helmets or their cars, so that's what I call it. I don't know if uh, cup companies call this by another name. Anyhow, it uh, tapers to a point here. And it's a very thin stem, and there are four grip rings on it. It's very flexible, it's soft, it moves any way that you um, push down on it. It's so soft that uh, you, you wouldn't really feel it if it was dangling outside of you. Um, it doesn't dangle outside of me, so I can't really... Uh, say that, but I did read on their website that it was it was soft enough that it wasn't going to poke you. So that's a nice feature. It's very very stretchy. Right under that, there is this flower pattern here, or not pattern, but flower um, shape here, and those are grip rings, and then a broken circle around that, and there's three of those broken circles between the flower. And you can see that they're raised off of the cup. And I did know, or I saw Bree's um, video about, about her make of the cup. Let me back up here. Um, she didn't really have very good things to say about the cup, but I think they changed their um, product because I feel like this is a really well-made cup. Mine is a well-made cup, so whoever bought this cup, um, since I had purchased it in a D-stash, they got it after after um, they had changed their design or um, their make of the cup. So back to the, the rings. Um, I, I remember Bree saying that they just move freely, and you can see it moving there. just moves really easy under my finger. Um, but I don't think that it uh, it makes it hard to to grip onto. They still feel like 
they give a really good grip. Um, and I don't mind those moving under my fingers because it seems like they kind of grip onto my finger by moving in that fashion. So I have no problems with that. I would also like to note that if you're sensitive to all those kind of markings, the um, hard bumps on some of those other cup grip rings, these are nice because they, they move with your body and they won't be poking against you. So that might be a, a good design if you're sensitive to those types of things. Right here you can see that it's molded with made in the USA. Can you see that? There we go. Made in the USA or made in USA, sorry. And then on this side it does say schoon and that's molded in there. So this uh, silicone is kind of like a peach skin and you can see it's kind of textured in this light here. And it has that uh, grippiness when I do this pinch test. So it's not a smooth silicone. It has that finish to it. So it grips really nicely even without the grip rings. It doesn't have that uh, bump of a secondary rim like uh, here on the Diva Cup. You can see this bump here and this is the, what I consider or call the secondary rim. The Schoon Cup doesn't have that. It flares out just about where it would be but the silicone does get thicker up here so there is like an invisible uh, secondary rim and then on the top here it is the thickest which would be the top rim and it's really soft well it, the silicone is really soft it's got good resistancy um, in the cup itself so right along this rim on the top uh, there is a seam but they finished it off really nicely I don't even know if you can see it right there and I can't even feel that with my fingertips so they brushed that out really nice they cleaned it up and made it a, f a smooth finish uh, there are seams around these holes, suction release holes, if I can get a good shot of it. There we go. This one you can see pretty well. Right there, there's a seam around it um, from being molded, but again, I don't feel those. They, they brushed those out nicely and finished it off smooth. So, those are nice for those people that have uh, sensitivities. There are five suction release holes, so it's also in a star um, shape or a flower pattern. So there's one here, 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 down here, and here. And they are um, molded diagonal, so from the inside out it goes downward. And it's right at the very top of this cup, so it has a really good capacity um, it, your your blood could be right on the top or well you could discharge or it, whatever any fluid it, it could be right at the top of this rim before it starts to go back down those holes if you have a problem with that that's a really nice uh, design I think on the inside it is not molded with anything there are no measurement lines or um, numbers inside or out. I forgot to mention, so I'll add it now, that uh, if you're cutting the stem off, there isn't a whole bunch of meat on the inside. Uh, there's not a very thick seal. So if you're cutting that, just be careful not to cut way, way deep into it because you will puncture your cup. Just for safety measures, I would probably only cut to that that uh, grip ring there closest to the cup. So my first impression with the cup when I received it was that it probably, probably wasn't going to work for me. It just felt really soft and I didn't think that I was going to be able to get it to open. 
In fact, when I first uh, tried it, and it was a dry run, I was not able to get it open. And I had tried um, the punch down fold, and it wouldn't open this way. And so I used the C fold or the U fold, and I was able to get it to open like this, but it stayed smashed inside of me. Later, I had gone back and revisited all the cups that I thought was too soft for me, and um, I found that uh, sweet spot where I could get the cups to open. So I found that with the Schoon Cup, I had to insert it and allow it to open lower in my vagina than I would with the rest of my cups. Normally, I could um, insert my cup all the way and let it open, but with the schoon, I would have to leave like half of it um, sticking outside of my body before I let it open and then push, um, you know, maneuvered it into place. So I, I'm fine using this cup now uh, before I, I wasn't able to. Um, I love. I love the way that it feels. It's really, it's not soft like this, but the the texture of the silicone is nice and soft. Um, I had no pains getting it in. It was comfortable to use, and I only had a problem once it, that it rode up a little high on me, um, but I didn't have any problems. Uh, releasing that suction to get it out. I didn't have any leakage and I did use it on a very heavy day. Uh, my only problem with this cup, I think, well, other than having to find that, that sweet spot to get it to open, was this stem. And um, I love that it's nice and flexible and stretchy, but because it's so stretchy, it would exit my body and my cup would still be suctioned inside of me. So that kind of made it, um, you know, a, a pain. But I usually just bypass the stem anyhow and go straight for the base of the cup to hold on to to remove it. But if I was to use the stem, I don't like that it stretches. Another thing that I don't like is that even though there's four grip rings on here, because it stretches, those grip rings kind of just smash into the uh, silicone, and you don't get a good grip. And because those don't grip, when you get to the end, there's no ball for your fingers to hold on to, and you, when your fingers are slippery, it snaps back. You just slide right off of it, and it snaps back. And that was a problem for me because it snapped back at me, and it it was it was painful, not just a little uncomfortable. I was very surprised and did not like that. So I know now not to even use the stem. I just go straight for the base of the cup. Um, I think if and I'm not in I, I'm not the person to say change this of your cup, but I really think that if they at least put a little ball on the end, like. Um, like the Sabelle, I'm sorry, I'm reaching over here. Um, the Sabelle has this this ball, and they have a really stretchy stem as as well. Uh, but their their uh, grip rings are harder. They're a little harder, um, and so your fingers can grip onto them, even though you're pulling that stem and the silicone. Uh, but that ball really makes a big difference when you're trying to use the stem to to move your cup down so that you can reach the base. So I really wish that they put a, the ball at the tip of that. Other than that, this is a really nice cup, really comfortable, um, and I do recommend it uh, to anybody. At least try it. If you do have problems with it being too soft for your body to allow it to open all the way inside. Uh, only insert it a little, maybe halfway, and then let it open, and then maneuver it into into place. But I really do like the schoon, and I'm glad that I picked it up. Um, it has become one of my favorites, maybe not my top favorite, just because I have to, you know, uh, 
mind where I am inserting it and, and letting it open. I'd rather not have any fuss where I could just insert the whole cup and let it pop open and I'm done. I'm good. But I, I felt like this was a really nice, comfortable cup. And so I do recommend it. Uh, again, they do have two different sizes, so make sure you choose the size that is right for you. And you can read all of that information on their website. So hopefully I covered um, some questions that you might have had. If not, you can leave me a message below or a comment below or a message on Facebook and all my information is in the description as well. I'll see you next time. Psyched you out. I forgot that I wanted to do a quick comparison between the Diva Cup and the Maluna Cup with the Schoon Cup. So here's my Diva Cup and this is a size 2, the, t the larger size of the Diva Cup. And you can see that the Schoon Cup is quite a bit shorter. The Diva Cup is a V-shaped here, and the Schoon Cup is a bell shape. And because it's a bell shaped, it's really good for somebody with a low cervix. And I have a high cervix, and maybe that's why it rode up on me a little bit. They are the same, or they hold the same amount of capacity. They have the same capacity. <laughs> And I'll put them together here. Try to even it up. So the rims are, are pretty even. And here's the Maluna Medium Classic, and that's the size that was suggested to me using their si size calculator. So it's about the same size here in height. I'm going to have to switch this around. Uh, the uh, Maluna is because it's made out of TPE, it holds its shape when you smash it. So mine is a little egg shaped, and that's why some of um, the areas of the rim look wider than others. Like this side is a little thinner than this side. So, okay, I'm really going this time. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in more menstrual cup information, cup versus cup comparisons, or personal reviews, check out my channel and please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.